Hi, this is Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. Today we're out here at the farm and uh, we finished taking all the insulation out and cleaning the walls from the master bedroom. All the walls are cleaned now except for um, what will be Chris's office. Uh, we pulled out the carpet and look what we found. Look at these floors. They're gorgeous. Of course, someone has stapled the carpet pad down to them. So we are going to have to gingerly pull all of those nails up. But the floor is gorgeous. We are ecstatic. Uh, it was hidden under two layers of like 1960s, late 60s carpet. I'll show you the carpet. That There it is. It is so old that it just rips. It has no kind of protective coating. It's just like an old fiber um, fabric type carpet and it just ripped out and we got it all out of here and these floors are so great it's gonna save us so much time so we're just gonna get these nails out and probably do you know some touch-ups wherever light sanding maybe a little you know filler maybe I don't know maybe a little shellac some of them I pried up one and you couldn't after I just sort of rubbed on the hole, you couldn't even really see it. Just probably maybe just, you know, clean them and maybe a refinish just, I mean, just, you know, like a shellac or a varnish. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the right word here. I don't even think we're going to have to restain them or anything, though. I mean, they are just like, I wish you could see them in real life. The, they're just, I mean, they're dirty right now, but, I mean, the wood, it's just, why did they have these beautiful floors hidden under that carpet? I don't know. But, uh, we are just ecstatic. So we have done a lot of work today and planted some more blueberries and planted some more elderberries. Chris mowed again and we cleaned this whole room. Uh, furniture moved around. We got some things vacuumed so we can sort of live like civilized people. Um, here's a view of the room through the wall here so very happy with uh, progress we made today and uh, next time we come up we're going to uh, clean the walls in the one room that's left and pull some more of this carpet up and probably start working on these nails get those as soon as we get those out of the floor the better and um, next time I'm hoping to uh, start um, amending the soil where the big garden's going to be in the back of the house. We're going to have several spots for this gardens, but the back of the house I'm hoping to uh, start some soil amendment to work on the clay, sort of sandy clay that we've got out here. It's the kids doing kid things in the kid room. Hello. There, I have an air condition. Always plugged in here. It's the life of Riley here. They did do some work. They helped water. They hauled all the jugs to all my trees for me. So, they were in the other house, but uh, the wasp got a little crazy. One stung me in the head. Chris got stung on the behind the ear. So uh, probably going to have an aching head tonight, but oh well. Better just one wasp than like the whole nest. So there we go. We got put all the furniture in here. So the kitchen and the little dining room is a little cozy. But we got this will be the last room. This room won't be getting done until we're close to move in because all these kitchen cabinets, there's going to be a small dishwasher put in and I have to fix this situation. Like the cabinet is like, if you're, if I was like, I don't know, a six year old, it would be awesome. But I'm five, six, so I need a, I need a cabinet. 
this just won't cut it. But there's going to be a dishwasher put in right there in all this. I want to keep the cabinets as much as possible, but we'll redo the tops and everything. And this will all be pink. Just like my other kitchen, pink and white. So there's our little update. That is what we did today and I'm very happy with the floors and how our walls turned out and it feels like we made a lot of progress getting that carpet old carpet there's the old carpet out of there so so this is been Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm and that's our insulation room master bedroom update and our water situation is improved Chris was able to fix it and cap it and so now we have cold water at least and we can take showers and do dishes and make coffee and all that without hauling all the thousands of gallons of water up here. So, so that's the update. And uh, thank you for joining us. And if, as always, if you like this video, please like it and please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time on Can at Canterbury Trails Farm. Bye.